Taylor Mole joining us. Uh, what have you made of the first half? Um, I think we started pretty well, dropped off a bit at the end, got mm. caught on those shuffle cuts a few too many times, but I think we have the weapons to be able to get it back in the second half. Have you been, um, obviously you've been training with the squad uh, throughout the week and over the last few weeks with your break from college. Uh, how have you felt the group has been over the last couple of weeks? I mean, good word out of last night saying that it was one of their strongest sessions uh, throughout the week. You know, obviously they seem prepared and ready to go. Um, but maybe a couple of weeks off, just certainly hurting them early. Yeah, I agree. I think the trainings, especially lately, have been pretty competitive and we've all been getting after it and going at each other a lot. So we've been scrimmaging um, most trainings, most of the training. So it's been very good to be able to do that. But uh, yeah, from what I've seen since I've been here in training with them, they're definitely getting better each training, which is a positive sign. Taylor, it's, it's, it's a nice to have you back. Obviously, when we last spoke, we were going through computer screens and technology. Um, how, how's it been since you've been back home? You, you loving being back home? Loving being back home. It's a lot colder than California is. <laughs> <laughs> I think when I spoke to you, it was a warm, beautiful day it over was. there. Sun shining every day in California, but it's very nice to be home. No threat of COVID but being back in Hobart, which is very, very nice and uh, very fortunate for that. But loving being back with the fam and catching up with friends and just being able to shoot with my dad and mum every few days is really nice. Obviously, mental health round this round, and you being away from your family, of course, your family is everything for you, and I, and I know that. Mm -hmm. um, how tough has it been at times when you, you know, you're, in, you're in America there playing, playing college, and sometimes you know, things can get tough on the road or tough at home or where, wherever. You know, how important is it to still connect with, with family while you're, you know, I can't think of how long the distance is, but yeah. so many miles away. Yeah. No, it's very special. FaceTime calls every single day to brother, mum and dad. So we utilise that a lot. And it's really just good just to have them being so supportive of me and be able to call them for anything and everything, debrief every game, what I did at school, what California was like. But, yeah, FaceTime is very important to our family. We use it every day, multiple times a day. But, yeah, having um, being mental, well, mental health awareness uh, around is very special and yeah it's good to bring awareness to it all you're wearing the orange socks and everything how have you found your um college experience taylor obviously you went through the state ranks you went through national ranks um you're now overplaying um basketball in the states how have you found that experience and how what sort of changes and differences in the game style have you found playing in the united states compared to australia yeah it's definitely i think a pretty different style of play here in australia i think it's more team oriented i would say so over there i've learned a lot more one-on-one -on -one moves being able to break down plays off the dribble and especially at my new school where I'm at we use that a lot doing little iso plays and everything but I'm loving the style of play over there loving every second of being over there and kind of don't want it to be over yet and, and just quickly Taylor I know we mentioned this in our you know interview with, with Beat has the the Aussie slang over there they, they love it uh, those Americans they do love it <laughs> especially since I'm the only Aussie on the team their coach comes out every practice with a new Aussie word which is what a dictionary so yeah they all love having an Aussie on the team <laughs> have, you, have you introduced them to Vegemite I have, I have a lot of them none of them I haven't met some American that likes it so do you lather it up for them or you just oh, scrape yeah. it? oh that would I do it that would yeah. do it absolutely <laughs> <laughs> uh, when are you expected back to the States? Uh, early August, so I've still got about a month left, which is nice. Oh, very good. Have you, um, you've been, obviously, you've been doing a little bit of work around um, some of the local clubs as well while you've been down here. What have you um, seen as far as local talent coming up the ranks? Lots of local talent. I saw um, Ruby Gray, Lucky Brewer and uh, Taylor Webb get invited to that Auscam, which is yes. very special for the state, so it's good for them to get an opportunity. And Ruby Gray getting invited to the AIS, which is big time. Um, but yeah, I'm helping out with Nick at uh, FDP Boys Session next week, doing indie with him. So it's good to be able to give back whenever I can. Taylor, what are you, what are you expecting in the second half? We'll, we'll get your thoughts and see see what the girls can what can the girls do to try to you know trim back this 15 point margin. I think just keen on defensive transition is a big one, not getting any of those free layups. And other than that, if they cut down that, I think it's anyone's game at that point. Very good. Well, Ronnie, I think we'll take a quick little break before yes, we get into yes, it. Yes, we will. I'd like to get down from this. Uh, <laughs> bit. I don't want to do what I did Tuesday night. Oh, they, did, they, there, they found out. No, they found out. Oh, it was <laughs> like a slinky downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Elbowed the old lady out of the way. Needed plenty of landing space. No. Thank you very much for joining us, Taylor. Hopefully you enjoy the second half, and we might try and even grab you for a, um, might try and grab a West Coast ball connection grab 
Yes, uh, we can do that, you, Jovo. Before you head away. So, okay. again, thank you for joining us. Sounds good. Thank you. We'll take a quick break here. 45-30, our scoreline. We'll be back momentarily. <laughs> 